Um, there is something that I it's it's unavoidable. Uh, I didn't want to talk about this, uh, but the the amount of I figured it's going to become a bigger issue if I don't at least say something. Then, it, it, like if I don't say something, it's going to become a bigger issue than if I I do say something. So let me talk about this right off the top. I know a lot of people have been have been asking me about this, so let me refer to this. Uh, obviously, yesterday, uh, news came out that Collider. Uh, had canceled um, one of the longest running movie discussion shows uh, uh, on, on YouTube. They canceled Movie Talk, uh, Heroes, Jedi Council, uh, Collider Live, a number of other shows like that. And they uh, they canceled those shows, uh, ending essentially uh, an era, uh, an era in these types of shows. So now I... I constantly talk about how the purpose of my YouTube channel is not to talk about other YouTube channels. I think that's bottom of the barrel feeding. I, I, I don't, that's not what I want my channel to be about. I'm not here to talk about other YouTube channels and what they do and don't do and all that kind of stuff. However, I do recognize that this is a little bit of a unique situation, uh, being that this was a thing that I had created uh, and was a part of for a long time. Um, and it being gone. So I, I, I recognize that and I, I understand why people want to hear my thoughts or my reaction on that. I get it. I, I, I do. So I will just address it here quickly. However, let me disappoint a lot of you right off the top. Um, the comments I'm about to give about, you know, the, the direction that Collider has decided to go. If I know a lot of people, Rob, they love their drama. They, uh, what, 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 do, what do they call it? The T? Is that what they call it? I don't know. I'm not up on all the, on all the big the verbiage. That's the T. It's a, it's a favorite saying of mine. The, the T is the information, the inside dope. Yeah. The if, pe if people are here to hear me dish on some, some say nasty things about people and give personal observations about people and talk about that, this person, I'm, I'm sorry, you're in for a real disappointment because that's not what I'm here to do. Um, I, I will give a couple observations on, you know, what I think are... Uh, trends, what I think were some professional philosophies and, and things like that. But if, if you were here to hear somebody, oh, let's get into drama about somebody talking crap about somebody, I'm not going to do that. Sorry to disappoint you. Um, but I, I will say this. I think Collider making the decision, and everybody's going to get mad at me for saying this, but hear me out. Collider making the decision to cancel all those shows was the right decision. I'm not happy about it, and I'll, I'll get into that in a second. The reality was that Collider is a fairly large operation, at least compared to me in my spare bedroom at, at, at my, my, my place in Burbank. Um, compared to me in my spare bedroom, <laughs> Collider is a fairly large operation. With large operations and large facilities and all that kind of stuff com comes large expenses. With large, expensive co with large expenses comes the requirement for, for large return on investment. That's just business, folks. And the reality is, over the past two and a half years, I mean, their shows have gone from numbers of like 100,000 plus views a day when I was there to 10,000 views a day, to, to 8,000 views a day, to 15,000 views a day. I mean, that's, that's just what happened. And that becomes non-sustainable from a professional point of view. I've been seeing some people online saying, you know, Collider disrespected the fans by canceling the shows. They've spit in the fans' faces, blah, blah, blah. And, and I'm sorry, but no, they just made a decision that made sense and was right for them um, to, to make that decision. It was, unfortunately, a decision that I think they were justified in making. And again, I'm just speaking from a professional point of view. When you look at the facts and the numbers, it... You understood. Yeah, you can't sustain operations that big with those types of numbers. And so they've decided to move, you know, put all their energy and resources into a new direction. And quite frankly, it, it was probably the right thing for them to do. I've also had some people writing to me, Rob, saying, oh, Campia, you must be happy about this. Blah, blah. No. No. No, I'm not. Um. That stuff was something I poured over five years of my life into building and developing. I poured blood, sweat, and tears. 
I often for months stretches at a time put my marriage on hold while I was trying to put in the work to get that thing to where I thought it could be uh, with a lot of other dedicated people who also were putting in a lot of blood, sweat and tears and to all that kind of stuff. And to see this thing that, and I'm sure some of you can relate for something you've poured in blood, sweat and tears only later to see maybe even after you've moved on that the plug has been pulled on it and it leaves an empty place in your soul. Um, there's an empty place in my soul this morning about that being gone. That thing that I spent so many years of my life building and developing and, and pouring a lot of myself into it being gone. So if you think for one second that I'm even remotely happy about this, you are drastically incorrect and you clearly don't know me at all. Uh, so just let me say that now. I will say this. I will. This is the one bit of you know professional and and you know strategic thinking that I will comment on about this whole thing. I never really gave a lot of details as surrounding as to the deeper whys of why I left Collider, and there are a number of reasons. To, to, it really, there's no one reason why I decided to leave Collider. There's no one, you know, magic bullet reason that became the de facto thing. This is why I left. There were a number of, of circumstances. There were a number of things in play and that just ultimately left me not feeling very happy. And, you know, then when my friend passed away, who, who had said to me just a few months earlier before he died, life is too short to be unhappy. I made the decision to move on, but I can tell you that direction was definitely one of the the things that that was that made me want to move on the day that i left collider i spoke with christian harloff uh who will be on the show a little bit later today talking about something else <laughs> just so you know he will be on the show a little bit later today uh later later in the show here but to talk about something else entirely but the day that i left i i had a long phone conversation with christian harloff and again, this is just one of several reasons, okay? Just one of several. But it was, I had a belief, whether I was right or wrong, that Collider under the new ownership and leadership wanted to go into a direction I did not want things to go in. And I will bring up, this is the blog post that I put up, Rob. Uh, just after I left, this, let me just read one of the paragraphs here. This is back, uh, you know, I think this is the day or two or a few days after I had left Collider and I had written the following. I said, however, the direction and operation, the, uh, the direction, the operation was heading in as well as some key decisions that were being made. I've disagreed with strongly and have made me very uncomfortable. Not to say that I'm right to disagree, nor that they were wrong. And that's important. It's not that I was right and they were wrong. They could have been 100% right and I could have been 100% wrong. But it's just that it's not what I was comfortable with. That's all. Uh, not to say that I'm right to disagree or that they were wrong. Not at all. Right or wrong doesn't come into it. But as I told my former boss, if I stayed, I was just going to continue being frustrated and unhappy and maybe become an obstruction to what he wanted to do with Collider. Uh, neither of those are good scenarios for anyone. I wanted to be happy and I want my boss to succeed because he and all the folks uh, at Collider are awesome. What I was referring to there, Rob, was and this is this goes to the discussion I was having with Christian Harloff. The day that I left, I talked to Christian Harloff and I said, I just really feel that the current leadership here is zeroed in on or obsessed with trends and with celebrity content. Trends and celebrity content. And I said, that is not what we've built. That that to me, that is not a direction I want to go in. Uh, it's not a direction that I think is the right direction. I think we've built something unique. We we spent five plus years of constant growth. You know, we we never didn't grow. Month after month, we grew all the time. The only time that Collider took a slight dip in our growth was when I had stepped away from Collider the first time to, I was still working with Complex, but to work on Film HQ. So when I had stepped away for that one season of Film HQ, the numbers dipped a bit fine, but once I came back and we got our philosophies all straightened out again, it was back to growth and, and we were growing and we grew back up to over a hundred thousand views a day and all that kind of stuff. And that was the direction that I wanted us to go. And again, I could have been wrong. 
I, I might be wrong in that philosophy, but that's just where I was at personally. And I decided that I'm not going to be happy here going in the direction of after trends and celebrity. Uh, clearly, the current leadership didn't put a lot of value in the discussion content side, which is what I wanted to develop. And I thought, why stay if I'm just going to be unhappy and if I'm just going to be thwarting the efforts of the leadership here to try to go where they want to go? Because they had every right to go in that direction. So um, just a, a just a professional philosophy, difference of opinion. That's all. No dirt here. Just difference of opinion. And I knew that that was a direction I didn't want to go. And I, I did find it affirming, I guess, when I read the statement that Collider put out saying, we're going to do more deep fake stuff, which is the total trend. That's the trendy thing right now. We're going to do deep fake and celebrity based stuff. And I said, well, and then, you know, I, I spoke with Christian Harloff and I said, do you remember that conversation we had two and a half years ago? And he said, yeah. Um, and, and, and I want to point something out here too. Let me, let me point something out. This could absolutely be the absolute right decision for them as a company. It could absolutely be 100% the right direction for them to go. Um, you know, when, when the numbers on their shows started to fall, I had had a dinner with um, the leadership there. Uh, this was shortly, we were meeting about something else, but this is a few months after I had left. We'd gotten together for a quick dinner. And I said, look, I, I, I do notice the numbers are falling. Here's what you need to do. And when I left, the day that I left, I talked to, to, my, to my former boss and said, Here, here's what I think you need to do. They completely discarded what I suggested. That's fine. That was their right. Then when I had dinner with them a, a few months later, I also said, look, I, I really think you need to do this, 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 and this to, to stop the decline. Again, took my advice and discarded it, which is completely their right to do. I've discarded advice. You've discarded advice. We've all done it. But they wanted to go the direction they wanted to go, which is perfectly fine and fair. Um, and I, I can't help but feel that that had a lot to do with the continued decline in the viewership because that place was stacked with talent. Uh, not just when I was there. But even long after I was there, that that under that roof over at Collider was stacked with talented people. Um, and so at the end of the day, I, I think they Collider made a decision that they needed to make. Now, do I think maybe they should have given every one of the individual shows a one last show for the audience to say goodbye to everybody? Yeah, maybe. But there also might be some good arguments to make that they didn't. Do I think maybe they should have told people they were letting them go more than just a couple of hours before they released their press release? Yeah, I do. But I mean, there might also be some good arguments as to why maybe that was the best way to handle it. So I don't think people should just be jumping on a hate bandwagon here. I think they were in a unique position. They made some decisions and they're making decisions based on what they feel is best for their company. And that's all any organization, that's all any individual, and that's all any company can do, is to do the best you can, making the best decisions that you feel are the right decisions for your company in your current circumstance. And that's what they did. And listen, we may look back, everybody may look back on this a year from now, and Collider may be like the bigger than BuzzFeed. They might be, they might be the hugest thing in the world a year from now. We don't know. So, I know it was very unpopular with a lot of people. I know it rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. But honestly, it is what they needed to do. And so um, that is the full extent of anything I'm going to say on the situation. If people are looking for me to talk crap and stuff like that, I'm, I'm just not going to do that because, you know, they, they just did what they needed to do. Um, so, Rob, I, I mean, I've, I've kind of hogged all, all the time here, but if, if, if you had anything that, uh, that, that you wanted to throw in on that. Well, you know, I, I just think that one of the things that can't be denied is the rise of many other channels yeah. that service. There's a lot of competition out there, including my channel, your channel, obviously. And I, I think that you have to constantly in this space, time is accelerated evolution is accelerated uh shows can look very different in six months than they did six months ago and obviously i started my entire youtube career at collider because of john schnapp and meeting you i'm i'm i've continued to do that this will be uh 
I started in April of 2015. April of 2015 or April of 2020 will mark five years for me being on YouTube, which is unbelievable to me. And all I can say is that I met a lot of great people at Collider. And like you said, there's a lot of top tier talent there. There's a lot of really wonderful, enthusiastic people that I uh, am quite fond of, both as individuals and as personalities. And it's my hope that all of these people are scooped up, you know, by by other channels. And I think that if nothing else, Collider was a breeding ground for top tier talent that we're going to be seeing a lot of in the coming years, if not decades to come. And I, I wish everybody well, and I have very fond memories of Collider, and I think what, what they were able to do was amazing. What you started there, John, really grew and flourished, and I have nothing but fond memories of my time at Collider, and because of that, I'm still involved with Christian Harloff and the Schmodown. I'm still here on the John Campia show, so I, I, I wish Collider the best, and I hope that everybody that we've had the pleasure of working with... Um, goes forth and multiplies <laughs> i agree and i i look forward personally i look forward to seeing where everybody who's who's no longer there where they end up and the great things And i think that's a great way to look at it robert that for a lot of years starting at amc and then moving over to collider uh it, it was a it introduced a lot of people to the internet world uh john schnepp was one of them uh in our time there you uh all that kind of stuff so uh, it's going to be interesting to see and exciting to see where a lot of these people uh end up going i i will let everybody know though um like i i said this before when i when i first started the john kb youtube channel i'm not here on youtube to to create amc movie talk or collider video 2.0 that's not what i'm here to do so i i'm not about to have an influx of of people that i'm going to run out and get and bring in here uh, not at all but th there's going to be a lot of places believe me if this was the NFL, Rob, there's going to be a lot of teams looking to 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 uh, sign these free free agency players now. Right. There's going to be a lot of people out there looking to sign uh, some of these uh, the, some of the talent at Collider that's going to move on now. And and all we can do now at this point is hope the best for everybody. Hope the best for Collider going in the new direction that they're going in. Hope the best for all the people who are involved in and the direction they're going in. And I think we're going to see a lot of great things uh, from those individuals in the future.